I would like to have this conversation also with you because I have observing your work where you have uh, traveled a lot through your creative process and would like to also know more about you as well. Uh, how, you know, you have developed such certain practice and what you learn out of it. Yes, certainly. So I'd like to share by uh, going back to my design school days where mm -hmm. I used to study architecture. Mm -hmm. And in a class of 65 students, one design problem would be given, one design project mm -hmm. would be given, mm -hmm. and each student would go back, come back with a different design solution. So the question in my mind would be, what is perfect design? What is the right solution for, uh, for this design project? Hmm. So I would explore a lot by asking, talking to my teachers, uh, reading about art philosophies, going to uh, art galleries and not only seeing art, but also meeting artists and asking them questions about their art philosophy. Why is it that they painted this? You know, what is their thought process behind it? I'd go and see a lot of art house cinema, I'd see experimental theater, I'd see art and craft exhibitions, meet a lot of artists, actors, dancers, musicians, you know, learn, I mean, listen to a lot of classical music. So that led me into much a lot of uh, philo understand, trying to understand a lot of philosophy of design. And that also shifted to philosophy in general. So I'd read Buddha and Krishnamurti and various other philosophers and mystics. Mm -hmm. What I came to the conclusion was that when you design with a pure mind, with a pure heart, mm -hmm. right? Whatever design solution comes to that purity of intention, purity of mind, is the right design solution in that particular space-time. And then a friend introduced me to Vipassana meditation, which is all about purification of mind. So I was very excited and I started practicing that and I really enjoyed it. And I felt more and more confident that I'm purifying myself, purifying my mind and heart and my intention. And I'm being a conduit of a higher force for design and creativity. So that's, so whatever I design or whatever I create, uh, there's at, at the backdrop of it is my contemplation, a spiritual contemplation, a spiritual exploration. And that is what informs my aesthetics, my creative expression. And so the intention is that anything I do creative, uh, it, should, it should be a meditative uh, experience for myself, as well as a meditative experience for the viewer, for the user, for the experiencer. You know, how am I, what is my level of consciousness when I'm creating that work of art? And what is that work of art or design offering in that particular space, in that particular environment, and also to the user or the observer. You know, uh, I, am I helping raise consciousness? That is the main agenda behind my work, main intention behind any work that I do. Mm 